What on earth is going on with the Iowa Hawkeyes in their lightweights? Of course, we know that their light, lightest weight, and Spencer Lee, he's got that weight on lock. But what's going on from 33 to 41? That's the real question. People have been asking this for such a long time. As to What's going on with Tizo? What's going on with Austin DeSanto, Max Murin, and Paul Glenn? What's going on? Let's talk about exactly the situation going on with the Hawkeyes. So the first thing that I want to mention is the wrestle-offs. This really all started with the wrestle Well, I guess if you want to go back further, it started off when Teasdale decommitted from Penn State and, and – or he was already there, ended up going to Iowa. That's where he was. Found that decision out a couple of months ago. And then everybody started wondering what's going to happen with the Hawkeyes. Well, we're still not totally aware, but we I, I have a couple guesses at what could happen. So started with the wrestle-offs. The wrestle-offs, Austin DeSanto uh, ended up wrestling off against at 133 pounds against Aaron Meyer. Now, we have seen Austin DeSanto bump up a weight already in his first match of the season to 141 pounds. Is he going to stay there? or not. Now, he beat Aaron Meyer by a major decision, the, but he did not wrestle off against Gavin Teasdale. Teasdale wrestled off against Glenn, beating him 3-2 to two just with a decision. Now, the other interesting fact is that Max Murin, he actually didn't even wrestle off. Now, we could have found out why that reason was, why he didn't wrestle off this past weekend. Whenever Murin Actually, he wrestled his first tournament of the season at the Luther Open. He won his first match by fall. Then he had a medical forfeit out of the match. So what's the deal with that? Is he actually, is he injured? It seems like something may be going on with Murin. That's why he's injured. So now we can see what's going on. We also, this weekend, this past weekend, saw that Gavin Teasdale lost to a Division Three wrestler in Christian Rumpf of Wartburg. This kind of stunned a lot of people. I saw a lot of people actually, people messaging me, people talking to me about this match, uh, which was very interesting that this happened. Now, Rumpf isn't necessarily anybody to be scoffed at. Wartburg is a very tough Division three school, but that's what's happened there. Uh, and then, listen, he, he had a couple other matches that he did win by Tech Fall, so there's nothing going on there. And as I mentioned, with the Santo first match of the year, bumping up to 41. But Glenn, in the first duel of the year against Chattanooga, was the guy who actually wrestled at 133. So you see what's happening here is probably the brand looking at who is the best guy for these weights. Now, what is the projected lineup? What do I think is most likely to happen? Well, of course, especially at 25, that's nothing. That's that's there. Pat Lugo will. End him off at 49. Uh, I'm not going to go through the rest of the lineup, just the, kind of these lightweights. Pat Lugo at 49. We've seen where maybe one of these guys could bump up, maybe a Murin or a Teasdale all the way up to 49. I highly doubt that. But at 33, I think we're still going to see DeSanto wrestle at 33. He's the number two ranked guy at the weight, which is saying a lot. I mean, he's a great wrestler, and I'm interested to see how he's going to do it that weight, but I think he just bumped up a weight, whether it's part of his descent plan or whatever it is. Uh, I think we're going to see him at 33. So who are you going to see then at 41? Well, as of right now, it seems that Murin's injured. I think we're going to end up seeing Teasdale wrestle at 41, and the only reason I'm not saying Glenn there is because uh, Tito beat him in that wrestle off. We could see a couple other things happen. You know, anything can happen with the Hawkeyes. But that's exactly what's going on with this crazy situation with the Iowa Hawkeyes. <laughs>